have an unboxing for you guys today. What's new? The first book is the only book that I managed to unbox early because I really wanted to read it. And it is The Vow by Jessica Martinez. This was so good, guys. It was unlike any other contemporary I've ever read before. It's about this girl and this guy. They're best friends. But then his family's visa expires because his dad gets fired and he has to move back to his country. So they plan this big scheme to get married. And you will find out what happens if you read it. I reviewed this book on the blog if you want to go check that out. I will link that below. But overall, I really, really recommend this book. So okay, let's get on to the packages. This is the first one. And I like how Amazon has a little paper tab now because I can just fold up. And I'm really excited for this. I think I'm going to read this right after I film this. And it is Never Fade by Alexander Braggett. Um, yeah, this is the sequel to Darkest Mind, which I recently read, so I'm really excited for this. You guys probably know all about this by now, so I won't say much about it, except go read Darkest Minds if you haven't. So these next two, I won from Books and Gales giveaway, so thank you guys. They are actually really nice, and I love their channel. They're really funny, so if you guys haven't checked them out, I will link their link below so you can go check them out. And I got these... <laughs> I got these from the book depository. Um, so, the first one I got, I've been wanting forever, and it almost completes my David Levithan collection, and it's Boy Meets Boy by David Levithan. So, I'm really excited to read this. And then, uh, I feel like this is going to be a long unboxing. I'm already. Heart Shaped Bruise by Tanya Byrne. Barn. and this is a UK cover I think this is about this place called the Archway Young Offenders Institution it closed down but they find this notebook so it is the notebook of this girl Emily she was Archway's most notorious inmate so you guys know how much I like prison stuff serial killer stuff so I'm really excited to read this so this next one is kind of already open because I don't know and it is Juby by Steve Watkins and the people at Candlewick Press were kind enough to send this to me and I was already attracted by the title Juvie. Mm, you know I like prison stuff or Juvie stuff or anything like that behind bars stuff so I'm really excited for this. It's about I think from what I saw before I saw this book before they sent this to me so I was really excited. It's about this girl Sadie. She's on the basketball team. She gets good grades. She dates a cute guy and her older sister Carla hangs out with the druggies and gets high and has this little three-year-old but she always leaves her three-year-old with Sadie when she goes to party. So they're caught at the wrong place at the wrong time. I think it's like it seems like it's a drug deal or something and then Sadie takes the blame for what Carla did so that her kid isn't taken away and sent to foster care. So she thinks like she's just gonna get the slap on the wrist and nothing's gonna happen because she's this good girl and first time offender, but she's totally wrong. She gets six months in juvie, so really excited to read this. And then I have this. Oh my hair. And it has a pull tab as well, so. Is Geek's Guide to Dating by Eric Smith. Eric Smith is a publicist at Quirk and he came out with this book. So I am so excited to read it. This is how it's on the inside because I saw other booktubers haul it. It's so pretty. Flipping through it, it seems like it's just literally a Geek's Guide to Dating. It says like watch your body language. Um, how to hack your online dating profile, three myths that will bust the game, and I don't know, it seems really cool. So, and I like how the chapters start out, so I'm really excited for this. So I got this next, and just pull the tag. Um, this. The Amulet of Illusion, The Lost Amulet Chronicles by Katie Lynn Johnson. So this is about this girl named Alexa. She discovers that she possesses rare abilities which make her a target for both sides in a century-old struggle for power. So, 
we'll see what happens with that. It sounded really good and had good readings on Goodreads, so I'm really excited to read this. And this last package, um, I have here. Cool. It's from Phil! I've been waiting forever to open this. I know I got to my house, I think, like, October 10th, so... I really wanted this book for so long. Night film by Marisha Pezzel. I'm so excited for this. Ever since I saw Blair's review, I was like, I need that book. I think she wrote her review last year. I'm not sure, but I will link her review of the book below if you want to go read it. It literally made me want to read it so bad. And then all of a sudden this book blew up, so there you go. And yeah, I'm so excited to read this. And I will show you, like, it's really cool because it's made out of like articles and websites throughout the book and the pages feel like a magazine. So, um, let's see what it looks like inside. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have like some envelope or something, but okay. So that was it. That was my unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, all the links that I mentioned will be linked down below. So if you guys have read any of these books, let me know. Or if you're interested in any of these, let me know too. I love talking to you guys in the comments below. So I will see you guys later. Bye.